We have a rare look tonight inside an American industry that gives an entirely different meaning to going green. While growing marijuana is against federal law, in California, residents are allowed to cultivate up to six plants for medicinal use. And as CNBC's Trish Regan reports, that's leading to a booming business. This is Northern California's Emerald Triangle, a place where three counties, Mendocino, Humboldt, and Trinity, meet. At first glance, it's a picture postcard of the far west, but beneath its beauty lies a controversial, profitable, and increasingly violent criminal enterprise. Four pounds in the baby crib right here. An exploding underground industry, the marijuana trade. This is ground zero for, for marijuana. Nobody produces any better marijuana than we do right here. With more than 20 million consumers nationwide, the U.S. marijuana market is estimated to be worth tens of billions of dollars. Pot has become the lifeline of this community, accounting for up to two-thirds of the Mendocino economy. How much is a plant like this actually worth? Be worth about $5,000. Mendocino local Eric Sly took us on a tour of a typical pot garden. If we didn't have marijuana, what would this county be like? Well, and what it, would it be like? I don't know. I, I think we'd all be selling Amway. What else are people doing up here? There's a reason California is experiencing such a marijuana boom. First of all, state law. They actually allow you to grow marijuana for medicinal purposes here in this part of the country. Secondly, there's been an increase in border security as a result of 9-11. So that's meant fewer foreign sources of marijuana coming into the country. And the result? Ever-increasing demand from Mendocino's finest. Talk to Sly and marijuana sounds strikingly similar to other commodities like grapes, wheat, or coffee, complete with a system of brokers. It's just like a broker on a commodities broker on Wall Street. They're figuring out where it's at. They're getting it for the lowest price they can get it. So the margin in between is where they make their money. The sheer volume of this trade is overwhelming law enforcement. In 2008, authorities spent more than $10 billion battling marijuana. But Dan Ofield, a 20-year veteran of the DEA, questions whether the Drug Enforcement Agency can really win this war. So we're not winning. The people that are winning are the people up here who are sustaining you know, a marijuana uh, culture. A culture that with every plant continues to grow. Trish Regan, CNBC, Mendocino County, California.